Self improvement is important. How about this? Situation improvement is important. Darned if you do, darned if you don't. The Agile VC newsletter number 13. Regardless, you still improve. So we have 23,526 subscribers. I lost about, uh, about 100, <laughs> about 100 when I posted my last, uh, my last newsletter, but I gained like 600. So first, I'm proud of the fact that I have zero paid subscribers. Why would I? What value could I provide you that would be worth paying 5 to $10 per month for? Anyway, moving on. Remembering Agile and Scrum. One of the most obvious philosophical underpinnings of Agile and Scrum is deferring to execution. I like to say that Scrum is an execution-based framework rooted in increasing the speed of learning through action. None of you have ever become an expert by reading a book, have you? Go and do. You'll learn something. Run experiments. Time box them. This ensures you have an end period. My favorite experiment time box is 90 days. It's just long enough so you actually get somewhat proficient at the trade skill or craft, and also just long enough to despise it, if that's the only thing that you learn. If you're doing it within your business or company, same, same. Put the experiment together, get shared understanding and alignment and agreement from your team and management, and go and do. Deciding to execute. In my previous post about life on the spectrum, I also said that I would write more. And so I have, pushing out three newsletters within a week so far. Not bad. I think I ruined this experiment with a double goal, though. Number one was to be honest about something in my life, and number two, to decide to write more. The core of my logic was that I'd live by example and jump right into something I've never written about before. It wasn't my most polished writing, but it's me, and you get what you get. For those who didn't read that, you can go to theangelvc.substack.com to read that. Due to this dual goal, I'm not sure how to interpret the results of losing about 100 subscribers or newsletter subscribers and gaining 600. While I'm not writing, I gain around a about one new reader per week or so. When I do re read, or rather I do write, I always see a drop, but often the growth is much better. Regardless of the metrics, I need to write more. For my sake, really. It's part of my learning to love myself better mantra this year. There are things I need to do for the peace of my soul, and time is ticking. So, what could be better in your life, and what are you going to do about it? I think we think that we, we can think about it all day. Maybe it's just time to execute. I always find joy in the process of building, especially new stuff. I have to imagine that's inside of all of us. Maybe what it's really inside of us is a simply the idea that self-improvement is important. How about this? Situation improvement is important, meaning we all desire to improve our current situation in some way, correct? Health, wealth, family, relationships, spiritual, career, passion, desire, and more. This isn't to say that you cannot be 100% content with your current situation, but two things can be true at the same time. You can be 100% content, and you can have 100% desire to improve some aspect of your current situation. I believe I can capture 100% of the global market with this. Summary, everyone wants improvement, even in contentment. I know the answer to this, and so do you. All the best.